Um, right now, I'm going to get ready to go up. We're going to look at a uh, turn to see how bad they left it. Uh, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here in the shop. So, I finally got my flooring finished up. I, I needed like three rows to finish up against the wall. So, what I'm going to do is I have a metal shelf in my apartment. So, I'm going to bring it over and put it here to put all this big stuff on. Take this down off the wall and then put up a couple of little my green shelving across the top for all this little spray bottle stuff. The rest of the stuff's going to go in the shed. And then I can put my uh, workbench back against the wall. The roll around is going to go against that wall. We're, I'm working on getting rid of this roll rim. I'm going with some uh, pack out the three drawers. Um, so I can organize my sockets in the, in the pack out. Uh, get two of the three drawer and one of the two door drawers. Stack them on top of each other. And then that will be my socket. That way I can roll that thing around wherever I want to go. Um, instead of it being here stuck in the shop, I can roll it over to my apartment and put it in the, in the freaking, uh, closet if I want to. Cause I don't need these sockets out here all the time. And plus with it being, uh, a stack depth on top of each other, I can use the dolly to move it around. And with it sitting on the dolly, if I open up the drawers, it's not going to tip over. So that's a little project I'm working on right now. But for now, we'll, uh. We're going to work on getting that one of my big black shelves in here and get all this miscellaneous up on that shelf. Get it out of my way because it's going to be on my last nerve. Because you can see what happens on top. I just pile everything up on top. I ain't got nowhere to split it. So that's what we're going to do today. Got to throw the cabinet off the wall. Apparently that one, that the, that one screw hit a water line. Yeah. Hmm, that's funny. Guess I'll uh, be opening up the wall and see what's going on with that. Or the, the washer dryer's wrong, or the washer's wrong, I don't know, that's wall. Got to fix that real quick. So this is the reason why you always put the uh, a nail plate on there because it went. I caught the stud on it, but also went right through the water line. That's why you always put a nail plate on there. Always. Ooh, I got it all cut out already. I got this wood notched out. Take the screw out. Maybe. Yeah, it screwed right it off inside that water line. I put that up about, well, it's been about a year. I put that up a year ago. I guess I do, uh, I get to take a picture of my own wall of shame here. Pass through, non pass through. Clean that pipe up a little bit. Get sandpaper out. Just make sure we ain't got no rough on. This really the awesome part about having this. This, even though it's a cheap, um, well, I should say inexpensive pro press tool. See, with this, with the pro press, I don't have to worry about the water being dripping. Because if that was, I had to solder it through, ain't no way. 
I couldn't do it. So this is a non-pass through, and this is a pass through. What it means is there's no nipple, there's no little notch in there to keep it from sliding all the way back. Where did my piece of pipe? So what you want to do on this, you want to mark it one inch. You know what I mean? So halfway. That right there. And right there. You just want to mark it so that you know you're in far enough. Okay? So on this one, I should be able to move it around just enough to get in there. Get that back out of the way a little bit. There we go. Now I'm seated all the way in. If I can get a hold of that, it's all slick now. It's all slick on me, man. There it goes. I get up to my pencil mark, pen mark. Okay. Well, this has got a stop in it. So this is in all the way, and now that's in all the way because my pen mark's right there. That that's my pen mark on this one, so I know I'm equal on both sides. Let me get the ProPress out. I got my. Go ahead and get this on there. Close your valve. Pump it, baby. Pump it. It only takes a second. A couple of pumps. <clears throat> there we go. Open it up. Clamp open. Back on. Close your valve. Pump. It's pretty simple. One of these inexpensive. They only cost 100 bucks. 120 now. I know when I bought mine it was about 100 bucks. And you can also turn this head or turn it a little bit if you need to. You know what I'm saying? You can turn this around if you need to. And the power box is on my way. Well, just it's got a screw in the back. Go ahead and get this side on. Simple pimple. No problem whatsoever, man. That uh, that little pro press I got, man, it's, it's real cheap. It's like 120 bucks. It's in the link. Check it out. Appreciate it, man. Help the channel out a little bit. Um, anyways, yeah, see, it, it, on something like that, you got you got water in line, you know, so that pro press, man, ram, you're done. Otherwise, you'd have to shove uh, bread, believe it or not, white bread back in the water line, and that swells up and holds the water. Then you can solder it. That's an old school trick, bro. Anyways, just messing. It's true. I, I've done it a thousand times. Don't use wheat bread, though. <laughs> it, it'll pack your uh, aerators. Anyways, uh, water line, whenever you open it up, if you need a solder fitting on, uh, you can pack bread, white bread in the line as far back as you can get it, like the depth of an ink pen or a pencil, whatever you've got, you know, because your finger won't fit in a half inch pipe. But anyways, the bread will swell up, hold the water back long enough for you to solder, right? So as soon as you get done soldering, go to your closest shutoff valve, take the water line off, or leave it on and just take the end of it and stick it in a bucket, and turn your main water back on, and then open up the water, the closest shutoff valve. Um, the reason why is because as it's traveling through the water line, the water will break it down. Okay, so it, you'll get a little, you know, at at that particular shutoff valve. Um, or wherever you're bleeding off don't don't bleed it off inside the faucet because the bread will get up inside of your valves inside your faucets and jack it up for a minute but if you let the water run long enough it will dissolve the bread down and the bread will flow out and you'll be all right but it's just a don't put yourself through the hassle of 
shooting it through the faucet. Just take your water line off the faucet, stick it down in the bucket, turn it on, okay? So that's tip the trick. Old school, the first time I saw an old man told me that, and I said, you're out of your freaking mind. It, it, and I've done it for the last 30 years. Anytime I've gotten in a pinch where I, I need, I, I had the solder and I, there's water flowing, or there's any moisture in that, you know, any water that's trickling through, you can't solder. It won't take. The, the water will prevent it from heating up enough. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll help you out. I mean, that's, that's a cool little tip and trick. And yes, I know they make those little bitty balls that you can shove inside the water line. I know this. My problem with that is, is that if you leave them in, in your uh, tool bag or whatever very long, they start getting too soft. Then they end up breaking down inside your toolbox. Or if you're in a pinch and you're like, oh, I need it, you know. Or sometimes if you've got little frays on your water line and you try to stick it in there, it'll pop it and it's no good. I've, I, I've only used those little balls a couple of times um, and and I didn't really care much for them. They, they do work. Now, I'm sure by now they've made a better version of it. But for us in the field, everybody's got a loaf of bread in the cabinet. You know what I mean? So if you're working in an apartment, there you go. Just go get a piece of bread, bro. So now that I'm done putting this, fixing my screw up, I'm going to work on uh, putting that shelf over in the corner, get it, because it, it's leaned up against the building. Get that, uh, get that installed real quick. I got the shelf up, no big deal. That's temporary down there, but I'm going to go ahead and pile a bunch of stuff on this. See how much of the stuff I can get up off the floor real quick. Well, I think that'll do for now. I'm a shelf. You know what I mean? It's, it's end of the day. At least I got the shelf up, the water line fixed, stuff up off the floor. You know, I still got some stuff like that. My cleaner, uh, drain cleaner, I put it on the bottom shelf. So, I got a lot of my car parts sitting up there in the corner. It's all good, man. I get rid of that big husky box right there. You know, anybody wants to buy a husky box? Anyway. This will uh, call today for today. Peace out, man.